Hey guys, just a really quick video for carotid and arterectomy. I've worked with this surgeon before, but he hasn't been here in a while. So I kind of forgot the special stuff that he needs. And his preference cards doesn't really say much. So I kind of just used my previous expertise on other surgeons preferences and just kind of add on some things that are special for his case for example these are called kittners these are for dissection and some surgeons use it i don't know if he does or he doesn't but i opened it anyways i also opened some of umbilical tapes it does say that on his preference card so I went ahead and opened that so this is our CV minor tray you guys have seen this in my previous video and just organize it the way that you would this is how I organize it clean and everything visible this is a special tray this is his own tray with his name on it so I just opened it because I never know if he needs something special like these reverse pot scissors and this reverse Castro Viejo. So in his preference card it says reverse pot scissors. So that's only found in his tray. So these are what's inside his tray. And they resemble the ones that are over here but they're just bigger. I doubt we're going to use those. But if we do then I'll just revert back to this tray. So when it comes to organization of the tray, it really is up to you. As long as it's visible and it's easily grabbable, I guess. I don't know if that's a word, but just make sure that you know where things are, especially when you're being relieved by somebody. You don't wanna relieve anybody that has a crap ton of things everywhere you want to be able to see everything and some people like to use the green towel and put lay it inside the tray but I don't have time for that so I don't do it this white paper towel thing it comes with the tray so that's why I just kind of leave it there some people take it out because they're OCD so as usual, you gotta label all your stuff. I haven't gotten any saline yet, and hep saline over here. Everything gotta be labeled. Ratex, laps. I'm probably gonna get some thrombin here, but I haven't labeled it yet, because I'm not gonna open it. These are the bulldogs, and I just put them in here in this little indicator to organize them that way. It's easier for me to grab them, because they're very tiny, and they could easily slip out of your hands. So these are the boots, they're booties. They're meant to hold sutures, especially for proline, because if you don't use the boots, it's gonna ruin the, the thread for the proline and it's gonna snap easily. So kind of use those. All right, so this is what I have in my mail. I have the Galiga clips, both small and medium. I have some Wheatlanders, both dull, size medium. I have some Army Navies, I have some Sens that are sharp. I have two hemostat to hold on to these vessel loops later on when he's trying to retract the carotid. I have the right angle and since we're going superficial at first, I put in the, the shorter one. But when we go deeper, I'm gonna pull the longer one. And I have two debakies two, what are those, forceps with teeth, they're AdSense, and a 15 blade, and two laps. So, this is what I have. I always prepare the Castro Viejo here, and the 11 blade, and since this is going to be harvesting some plaque on the carotid, you always have to have this elevator over here, and also this metal yank hour because it has this little ball at the end and it's blunt so it's easier to suction the blood and it fits perfectly in the carotid all right 
so the surgeon is 2xl i have his glove underneath it and over there in my basin i have three um light handles a bowl v and a suction and this green thing is actually a magnetic thing that holds the instruments or any sutures it's these green things are magnets so you just lay on top of the patient and when the surgeon drops his instrument it doesn't fall down and honestly i don't really like using it you just got to pay attention when the surgeon has a needle because you got to keep an eye on them a 50 and 60 proline bv1 are easily 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 get lost and i've lost the 70 proline before and it was not fun so this is the drape this is a thyroid drape i have four towels and a half sheet i usually don't open a half sheet but with him i don't know his preference and then i have my gown and glove and this is for the pa okay guys this is all i have hopefully case turns out good